Hi, this is Joseph Anthony of the Wonder Child Blog. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're going to do a tapping session on the Law of Attraction. And I have made other uh, videos on the Law of Attraction, but this is my first EFT tapping one on the Law of Attraction. And the reason I'm calling it Tapping Through the Truth of the Law of Attraction is because I think there's a lot of misinformation out there about the Law of Attraction. There are many misconceptions, perhaps, fear-based as well as fear-inducing ideas about the Law of Attraction. There's even incorrect physics analogies about the Law of Attraction. Magnets don't attract like, they, they attract opposites. So, the Law of Attraction being called a magnet, like attracting like, doesn't even work. And you know that deep in your subconscious mind. You know that that's the case from elementary physics, right? So, I want to tap us through easing our minds about the Law of Attraction. It's not every thought that runs through your head that's going to get manifested. So you can put that to rest and put that to bed right now. If you're thinking thoughts of uh, mayhem in the world, wouldn't worry about it too much, really. Not pleasant to think about those things. Most of what goes through my head really just goes through my head. They're not even thoughts. The thoughts that I'm talking about here are focused, clear energized thoughts, infused with emotions. Those are the thoughts I'm talking about. Of course, everything does begin with a thought, and thoughts are indeed things, vibrational things. But it's not every little thing that I think about that draws that particular thing to me. I like to think of my thoughts and dreams and desires as honey. And the busy, vibrant worker bees of actions are attracted to that honey. So, if you want abundance, if you want prosperity and healthy relationships and a new job and a new car and a new house, dream it, imagine it, focus your heart and mind on it, and then focus the sweat of your brow on it. Plainly put, for me, the law of attraction is love. What we love, that is what we draw into us by our actions of love. As we sow, so shall we reap. So sow, so sow, so sow the actions of love. Sow the actions of gratitude and generosity, prosperity kindness. Don't worry about all the thoughts that are in your head, or the impulses, whatever you want to call them. Don't worry about anything. But if you want to manifest your dreams, imagine them, focus on them, put your heart and mind and body and soul into those dreams. So all that said, this session is to help clear away any blocks you have, towards activating and empowering yourself with the Law of Attraction, any resistances you may have to abundance and prosperity, or realizing and manifesting your dreams. It's also there to help ease your mind, and to comfort you, really, about what the Law of Attraction is and is not. So we're going to tap through all of that, and if you choose to tap with me, you are accepting full responsibility for doing so. I'm glad you're here. Let's get started. Even though, even though I used to believe that the law of attraction was based on every little thought I thought, I choose to love and accept myself right here and right now. Even though I've had a lot of fear about the Law of Attraction, I choose to love and accept myself right here and right now. Even though I've been afraid that all the things that are in my head are going to come to me 
all the horrible things that might be up there. I choose to love and accept myself right here and right now. Even though I believed a lot of misconceptions about the law of attraction, I choose to love and accept myself right here and right now. Today I choose to activate the power of the Law of Attraction through clear, focused, loving thoughts. Today I choose to take positive, healthy actions towards the manifestation of my dreams. Today I choose to imagine my dreams and desires as honey, sweet, golden. And I choose to attract the busy worker bees of actions and energy. I choose to clear away any blocks that may be in the way of those busy worker bees coming to me inspiring me with their dancing actions. I choose in this moment to clear away any resistances I may have to abundance or prosperity, happiness and joy. I clear them away, right down to the cell of my cells. I choose in this moment to clear away my subconscious mind, to open it to the manifestation of my heart's desire, to clear my conscious mind of any self-doubts or limited beliefs. I choose to activate the law of attraction through clear, focused, loving actions. I choose to think positive, affirming thoughts. I know thoughts are things. I know that all things start with a thought. I choose, however, to know those thoughts must be followed by actions and love and devotion and perseverance, determination. I choose in this moment to release any worries about anything I've been thinking that may have been negative or unhealthy or unhelpful. I choose to focus my mind on things of love, thoughts of gratitude and abundance, thoughts of peace and generosity, thoughts of openness and compassion towards myself and others. I choose to know that love attracts love. I choose to know that as I sow, so shall I reap. And I choose in this moment to sow love, gratitude, abundance, generosity, kindness. I choose to focus my mind, my thoughts, through the channel of my heart, through the channel of my hands. I choose to breathe deeply into my dreams, to taste the sweetness of my dreams, to make them manifest through my actions, and like the bees to dance, 
to dance together with those who will help me, to those I will help, to have a beautiful geometric hive of positive thoughts, feelings, and actions. I choose to know in this moment that all is well. I choose to think thoughts of abundance, prosperity. But I choose to know that those thoughts aren't thought in a vacuum. I choose to infuse them with positive emotions and positive actions. I choose to clear away any fears, any misconceptions about the Law of Attraction. I choose to clear away any resistances I may have to achieving my dreams and helping others achieve theirs. I choose to laugh, to breathe, I choose love, I choose gratitude, and I choose to get up and go to work towards those dreams. Little by little, or big action by big action, I choose to work towards my dreams. And every vibration that I make with my body, every buzz of the buzzing bees of my busy hands, will attract more and more of my dreams towards me. Those frequencies, the frequencies of positive actions, the frequencies of love and determination, those are all part of the law of attraction. So I choose in this moment to love and accept myself, to honor and cherish my dreams, to sow the seeds of love, to help others achieve their dreams, to love my life, to love what I want, to love what I do. I hope that was a good boost for you. I hope you feel better about the Law of Attraction. I hope you have a better understanding of what it is. And I hope you go out and manifest your dreams, achieve your dreams by your focused thoughts, your loving feelings, and your positive actions. Be a busy bee. Go make some honey. And if you would like some help manifesting your dreams and clear away, clearing away any other blocks you may have, feel free to drop me a line or give me a call. Happy to help in any way I can. <laughs> this is Joseph Anthony of the Wonder Child Blog saying thank you so much for watching. Take care.